So April 1st was the first day I woke up that night and that morning, or excuse me, no, it was actually the April 1st, the night. I said, let me make this bow. I have been watching how to make bows, and I can remember a long time ago, I said, that is so cute. I wish I could make bows. And here I am, would never have even thought and guess. So I made this bow, and I named it Chosen. I named the bow Chosen. This was my first bow. But the ideal of it was not necessarily to be a scrungy band. I have to see what happened. But to really have an overall band for your head. So let me show you what I ended up making. I did end up making a scrungy band later on. Like, because I have so much going on. I had to see these are some of my daughters that I started making their collection. And this is the chosen. And because I put on the white, decided to put take the pictures with the white, like nightgown, I added the white here and I made the scrungy band. And so this is really the thought of what I want is the scrungy band band to go on the hair but overall head and so that's chosen so this was the very first one and then I made the ones with the purple and white polka dots with the white background and then I just started having fun with it and I made these and these are all chosen I made this one too and these are chosen this one is the serenity so it's not necessarily the colors it's the design and then this one is cookie so it's the design of it and that's how I keep up with them so I can make any of these in any colors it's just the design Hello, welcome to Maddie and May Bows. I am getting ready to do a photo shoot with them. So this is May, and May is currently 30 months. So she's two years old and almost two and a half years old, for those that say, don't do that to me. And then the baby girl is eight months old and she will be shown a little later. I have to get them ready one at a time. I can't. <laughs> so these are my angels. Maddie and May bows are uh, thought of and dreamt for them, for legacy, for them to have their own entrepreneurship. I um, ask God every day and every night so that they can be entrepreneurs like their mom and I just want to nurture and encourage I am getting ready to do a photo shoot with them so that they can uh, show and feature their bows and I am doing chosen bows on them this is my first creation and the first bows I'm very proud of the first bows are pur purple my second was purple with the white backdrop and that's what they're going to be wearing because I put them in some white uh, nightgown dresses. I really love these night uh, these uh, nightgowns because it reminds me of an old movie where you would see children watching a movie with their parents. I don't know. It's just I'm like an old soul almost. So my goal for the videos and for future is to not necessarily feature me but to let them be the brand ambassadors for everything and production and the and the bowls and and the operation of it i may be the brains and the workforce behind it but the goal is to feature them always and so in my hair i do have pink uh chosen these are the second color well i guess you can say third this is the third bowl that I created. I believe it is because I wanted the pink. So I'm getting their bow game together. And the way that we do is I have three different type of designs that I can make in any different color. 
she's so curious she wants to see what i'm doing how does it work how is it functioning give me the grease give me the spray bottle give me give me give me all the bowls so i've always been a parent that was like i have three boys older boys and so when I would always see girls, why don't they have bows in their hair? Bows or barrettes. I'm going to say bows or barrettes. Some sort of decoration in their hair. I love it. I love uh, girls, young girls or whatever, to see bows and barrettes and some type of jazz, you know, on their hair. And so I'd always say, oh, I wish I could see that. Or why don't they have it in this and that and the other? So I would always have some bows and barrettes. When they're babies or infants, I like to have the bands, but when they get her age, I wasn't so much into the bows. What I would do is would put a barrette and um, different colors or the balls. Like I grew up with those type of things. And some of the bows were, you know, so expensive. But I remember being in a library one day and I saw this little girl, her mother dresses her to the nine, and she came in with this big, powerful, embracing bow. I was like, oh, I wish I could do it. It was so cute. Okay, these are the chosen. I did the scrunchie on this. This is my real thought, but actual with a longer band to wrap around her head. But my first few creations did not work, so I did a scrunchie bow. And I do it pretty simple. I'm going to have to start angling my camera so you can see better. And I, you, I sit the bow where I want it to be featured. And then I just twist the back up. So I love like the two ponytails is like mini, mini mouse. And so I just did the two ponytails. And her hair is long enough for me to do that. And she wanted, she's just, May is so, uh, she watches and she's so detailed and what you do, you have to be careful because she's going to do it. And she likes to play with the bows and do the most. So Maddie is a little easier, but she still likes to do her own thing. And I'm just going to just touch up her hair. I actually like to put a band. So I hadn't created bands yet, but now I have a whole variety of bands. So I have my band gate up. I'm just showing what I'm putting in her, in her hair. It's just a little grease just to touch it up. And you never know what the camera is going to see and what it's not. So like I say, I'm just getting them prepared for like a little camera action. And so like I told you, Maddie is eight months. And sh they're both good girls. And Maddie is so easy. And she's the baby baby. And she's the last last baby that we're having so i do have five children and she's the baby girl and so may is the big sister to maddie and i okay so they were named after both of my aunts on both sides of the family this is the chosen with the white scrunchy band i'm putting on her hair so maddie is named after my father's side of the family, his oldest sister. So I was like, who could I name? I was gonna either name her after my cousin that started with the M or my aunt that started with the M. And I just stuck with Maddie and I liked it. My cousin name was Mattery and she was actually named after my aunt and I didn't know that until recently. And so I just named her Maddie after my aunt that has passed away. Now May is the oldest and she's named after my mother's oldest and only sister. So I have a lot of things themed after my aunt. Her middle name is Maddie. I mean, excuse me, her middle name is May. So it's RG May. So I named her after my aunt's middle name because, again, I wanted the M for the acronym. So we're getting ready to set up for pictures. So and my my aunt May, I was more close to than my aunt Maddie. They're still my aunts, just one on each side of the family. These are the dresses I absolutely love, 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 love. I don't know, like I say, maybe an old spirit, but I love it. Jay Vinay, she does the most. I have to get her together. 
and and it's it's very hard but I was trying to get their attention so I'm like look look and I didn't want all the behind scenes and then sing a song and she's like cheese and I'm like say you're cute because she loves putting on dresses May loves putting on dresses and saying she's cute and it is so crazy because I love little girls in dresses so I'll have quite a few dresses and when she puts them on she started it maybe I started it and I didn't realize and then she started it later and then she would put on her dress and say I'm cute I'm gonna put that on the Instagram or something because I thought it was so great so now every time they're in certain colors I'm like oh I gotta make a bow that color so I have to slow down and get it together but I want to do a lot of different colors like you've seen in the beginning of this video so I'm just starting out and I'm doing a lot of different colors and whatever catches my eye or whatever colors they're wearing I'm like oh I can do it in a serenity or I can do it in a chosen or I can do it in a cookie so I'm not really sure which I thought chosen was gonna be my best bow but I'm kind of favoring serenity I'm not really sure I'll have to see and I'll have to break down which design is what and just show different colors. So, love it. Maddie and May Bowles, like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching.